here this is perp back with another video and yes the ps5 is right around the corner and i'm here to break down the event that just went on today earlier this evening didn't wasn't able to catch the live stream because i was at work but um you know uh i caught the highlights actually no i caught the stream i just wasn't able to stream it i should say correct me uh i gotta correct myself but hit that like button hit that subscribe button and follow me on twitter at perp minded 420 for more content more content is coming um i rarely do gaming news but we'll, we'll see and you know let's let's hop right into this shall we so going into this conference you know there was a lot of hype building up you know it got delayed we were supposed to get this reveal and stuff uh last week but with all the protesting and stuff um things were kind of chaotic but now it's finally here and does it live up to the hype um for me let me get this out the way i'm an xbox user but i do not pick sides i really don't care i could care less about xbox i could care less about playstation it is what it is when it, at the end of the day i play what i want to play um let me get out my negatives actually no let, let me get my positives out first and then my negatives because i do have some negatives here but the positives being you know they did one up xbox by just announcing games showing games and showing gameplay and the presentation was way more pro professional it wasn't done through like zoom or nothing like that it was essentially the same thing that xbox did but you know it was a better presentation i give them that the games that they showed off were very um left me scratching my head and did not get me excited at all you have um gta 5 the remaster of a remaster coming to playstation 5 which is who cares um gran turismo 7 don't really care because forza is obviously better uh ratchet and clank never cared about ratchet and clank horizon zero dawn and spider-man were probably like the biggest games that they showed off which is kind of it's kind of weird and the game that square enix is working on the project uh Anita or Anatha or I, don't, I forget how it's pronounced um but for the most part the games that they showed it was just boring overall it was just really boring it put me to sleep it didn't hype me up um I am curious to see how you know uh that Spider-Man Miles Morales is gonna go because I think that's a standalone game I don't think that's the direct sequel to the original spider-man because that seems way too quick but we're just got to wait and see final uh you know it's just not my cup of tea with a lot of the games that they showed they showed a lot of indies and just i wanted more bigger titles like a god of war i know, I know that sony doesn't have to show all that because they're just going to show you exactly what's coming in the next like two years but you know there's still some other studios that haven't announced games that they are working on so we're just gonna have to wait on that with that being said let's get into the meat and the potatoes of this whole event they finally show off what the playstation 5 looked like earlier they showed off what the controller looked like throughout the whole entire event they were teasing us um i would have gave this whole conference a f if they didn't show off the console because i was like xbox damn near showed their console a year ago what is taking y'all so long um first initial impressions of the console it's weird it's a definitely a weird design i think it's going to be a lot thicker than people think it's going to be it it does look more streamlined more slim as far as compared to the xbox one x or not the xbox one x but the series x um I still prefer the Series X because, like, honestly, it's an Xbox. I expect it to look like an Xbox. I know a lot of people are kind of shitting on the Xbox design. I thought it, it's fine. I don't need it to be this extravagant-looking thing. Even though this console does look good, it's interesting that they come out. They're coming out with a one with a disc drive and one that's strictly all digital. 
Now, the pricing is going to be the next interesting thing. It's going to be a make or break for either one of these consoles. Because I don't know. I don't think it, it matters how. I don't think the exclusives really matter as far as, you know, that pricing. Some people are already going to be locked in, but I'm talking about strictly like the casuals. If the Xbox Series X comes out cheaper and, you know, the Lockhart's coming out, so that's going to be the cheaper end. So they're kind of taking a page out of Microsoft's book with that. So if they price this right, it, this could be good for Sony going forward. But if they price it too high, because I saw some people saying that, oh, this is going to be priced at like $700 or something like that. That could be very possible with like the maxed out version. But we talking about the like the base PlayStation 5 and base PlayStation 5 digital. I think what's going to end up happening is the digital version without the optical drive because we don't really know what the Eternals or what's in the guts of the digital version. If it's the same as the uh, base version. But if that's the case, if um, if the PlayStation the, the PlayStation Five digital only version comes out at like four hundred, that means that the regular one with the disc drive will come at at five hundred, which will line up perfectly with the Series X, which I think will come at come out at five hundred because Xbox been dropping new consoles at five hundred, and that's kind of been their sweet spot. I don't necessarily think they need to take a loss on the X, but where it gets interesting is depending on what Xbox is doing with this Lockhart, you know, that could be $299 and you have the digital PlayStation 5 for like $499. So it's going to be interesting, man. I want to know y'all thoughts. This is just my quick little breakdown. The conference could have definitely been better. Um, and that's not to say that PlayStation won't come with that heat eventually because they always do. I'm never, ever going to deny that. But nothing that they showed really made me say like, oh, I got to go buy a PlayStation day one. And I guess that's how people feel when they look at an Xbox console. It is what it is. I'm ready for next gen. I hope you are. What are your what are you going to get? Are you going to get the digital PS5 or the one with the disk drive? Or are you going to go with the Series X? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts and your feelings. Um, but until next time, I'm out. When this goes online or whatever it is, it really matters. And it like really doesn't matter. What matters is, you know, the people who are sparked by it and the people who are like offended by it. It doesn't fucking matter. Fuck you, you know, like, because it's about motivating the doers and anyone that wants to sit around and talk shit they're doing too much time they're taking too much time talking shit about it instead of getting up off their ass and following their dreams because i'm here to follow my dreams